everyone. This is Ursula Reef here again. Um, I am in love with the Ionic 5. Uh, I work with Hyundai again. I might have a little bias toward Hyundai's, uh, but I want. I, I like to talk facts, and um, I uh, today is gonna be the part two uh, of my video uh, on the simple review on the Ionic 5. Uh, I'm trying to, you know, learn as I go here. So some of the things, uh, the car, like the interior, uh, some of the buttons are new to me. So like I said, uh, I'm learning on the go, but I also have done some research on them. Uh, and I would recommend everyone to do the research and due diligence. Uh, but it's always nice to work with someone who, you know, you and them are on the same page. So I, I'm, I'm in the EVs and I love them. I love them. I think they're definitely the future. Okay. So, uh, just, uh, you know, over the Ionic 5 here, uh, I have the preferred uh, model, okay? And I'll talk about the trim levels inside while I'm taking you out for a quick test drive. Um, so, the, uh, what I'm looking at here is the uh, rear-wheel drive uh, Ionic 5. Um, and this one is the, uh, you can get the Range Plus, or you can get the normal range, the standard range. Uh, in order to get the, of course, the range plus, um, if you need all wheel drive, then you have to get the um, range plus, right? Because it's a dual motor, right? Uh, so you need for dual motor, you, you, for all wheel drive, you need to have dual motor, right? Um, a single motor is gonna be on the uh, rear wheel drive. And like I said, so yeah, so basically what I'm doing here, I'm taking it off the charger. So obviously when the car is locked, you can't take the charger out for safety reasons. Uh, I unlock it and then I can safely take the charger out. Um, this is the level two, okay? Uh, like I said, the, the vehicle comes with a level 120 volt emergency charger. And obviously this is your uh, level three, right? Plug here, right? That's your level three here, okay? Um, all right, so perfect. So I'm putting this back to where it was and I'm uh, pushing the fancy button to close the door. I'm returning the level two charger. This is a level two charger down at the dealership here at Hyundai down in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Um, of course, basically your level two charger. This is something we can talk about as well. When you install it at home, uh, we can talk about level of charging. We can talk about um, the actual um you know charger itself the physical part level two installation at home and i have people i can get you in touch that can do an installation at home for your level two wireless for your level two charging i believe there there is a portable and a non-portable one i have to double check uh but basically uh with the kona ev you were able to get a portable or a uh non-portable or wired one so i will i gotta double check so just uh, putting the phone here so basically that way you guys are kind of able to follow me while I'm on a test drive and kind of see you know what I'm seeing here okay so basically just be patient here with me be patient with me and uh, you know we'll go on the test drive hello everyone I'm back uh, okay so like I mentioned uh, you know, in the Ionic 5, when I close the door, uh, you know, there's always a spot, a specific spot where you close the door from. With the new Ionic 5, um, basically, you can put your fingers anywhere and then you can shut the door from there, okay? Um, so, we'll put, put, put the seat belts on and we'll take you wonderful people on the test drive in the 2022 Ionic 5. Um, so once you get in Sharif, how do you feel? Well, I feel it's spacious. Um, I can see the end of the hood. Like, I mean, it's, it's, it's good visibility. I don't see blind spots, right? Um, I think the way things are positioned here, it's, it's good for visibility for sure. A huge glass, right? Um, you know, the dash is laid out in a way that everything's accessible, right? So you can access um, your buttons here for your climate control, uh, your push button, your gear, right? For, um, you know, shifting gears, uh, the cup holder. So you're enjoying your nice coffee on a road trip. You know, it's easy to access it. The armrest, you know what I mean? So I believe everything is positioned in a way that it's handy, right? All right. 
Uh, let's go on a test drive. Okay, so well, first of all, that's the transmission here. Um, so I'm just switching it down to reverse, and then, like you see, your backup camera. Uh, you know, you have two way of doing it. This is from the top, um, and basically, uh, this is the normal setup, and it's the vertical. You know, the line uh, for the uh, camera. Um, towing capacity, guys. Like there hasn't been official information yet. Uh, on the towing uh, and installing a hitch because I know someone asked about installing a hitch on Ionic 5 I believe this is still under the research and development I could be wrong I can definitely do more research on it so like I said guys if I don't know an answer to a question I will tell you I'll find it out because there are definitely going to be questions that I don't know the answer of but I'm very happy to research it for you and get in touch with the right specialist to find out Okay, so here we go. We are taking off. I always like to feel like I'm like on an airplane. So I'd say, okay, flight Ionic 212. Get ready for takeoff. Okay. All right, wonderful. So I am switching it to neutral and I am uh, switching it to drive. Okay, but just by flipping this here. So now I'm in the drive mode. It still have the backup camera layout on. It is going to disconnect in few here. All right, so the first thing I feel, of course, you know, EV cars, vehicles, they're very, very quiet. Uh, I, I feel this one is even quieter than the Kona, to be honest, and I love that. Um, so how do I feel? Like, I feel the seat is hugging me. So the seat is definitely uh, the material. I like the material. Uh, I like the way I'm sitting. It's very comfortable sitting in that seat. It's a cloth seat, premium cloth seats. Easy to clean. All right. So basically what I'm doing right now, you know, I'll do, I'll do a little bit of a both city driving and um, I won't be able to do a highway driving today just because I have uh, I have to meet with a, with a client in half an hour. Um, so basically, you know, like I said, first impression feels like, I, I just love it. I want to scream and say, I love this car. Just the first impression of getting into a car. You know, there's that impression when you get into a vehicle. Um, so first of all, I, I love the, the, the impression um, of just sitting in it. Um, the steering wheel feels nice, you know, very nice hold to it. So that great. Also a flat uh, steering wheel here. So it's easy to get in and out. With the road noise, I, I don't really, I, definitely a better road noise, road noise cancellation. So it's the cabin is more silent compared to the Kona EV for sure. The Kona EV is still a great EV vehicles uh, for different needs, right? Different clients. This is more of a, like I said, big crossover. Um, some consider it as a big crossover. So it's definitely, you know, it's got huge size, it have the flat floor, the center console, actually, you can move that, but this is only in the ultimate model, right? Uh, which is the preferred long range all wheel drive with the ultimate package. So the ultimate is just the package. The trim level is the preferred. So I'm sliding between the cars here. Take a right sign. One thing I noticed that's nice, the rear cross sensor. So while I was going right, um, it turned, it switched red. So it showed me a red warning on the screen uh, that, you know, someone is in my blind spot, right? So there are sensors in the back and on the preferred model. So like I said, I'm in the preferred model right now. I know if different countries have different trims. I know in Australia, there's only two uh, my brother lived there and there's only two, actually, uh, two trim levels. Yeah, so I, I feel great so far. Uh, it is, like I said, super quiet. I actually, I might go on the highway. I might have little time here to go on the highway. So basically, yeah, just to give you, you know, a, an idea on the trim levels in Canada, um, you can get the Ionic 5 uh, in the essential model, and that would be, of course, the standard range, uh, and that would be obviously the dual, the single motor, right? Because it's a rear-wheel drive. 
Um, you know, the official range numbers are not officially out yet from Hyundai. Um, however, as per Hyundai Canada website, the actual range on a preferred um, rear wheel drive um, with the range plus is up to four from 480 to 490 uh, but I, I always like to say you know because the official numbers are not out yet so I would say anywhere between 400 to um, 400 to 480 right um, I mean definitely depends you know on the weather condition too we live in Canada here so you know half of the half of the year is, is winter um, or over half of the year is winter right seven months are winter uh, and our winter is very tough too, right? So basically uh, to heat up in order for the battery to heat up, you know, uh, you know, uh, that definitely requires energy and that energy consume your range, right? Um, obviously when you have your heated seats, when you have your climate control, like I, I noticed that in the climate control, if I go up in the climate control, so require more heat, it literally the, your range will change right so the less uh, your your climate uh, temperature so if you're in 18 degrees compared to 24 for every one degree literally that you lose one range right you lose one range for every degree uh, h higher like more heat right yeah so basically you know yeah, back to the trim level. So you got essential, right? Uh, standard range, uh, rear wheel drive. Um, you also get the preferred. Uh, you can get preferred rear wheel drive as well, or all wheel drive. But to have an all wheel drive, like we mentioned, you need to have a long range, of course, because of the dual motor, uh, because the all wheel drive uh, component. Uh, you can get a preferred with a long range, of course, which is the, we call the range plus. Uh, and you can get a preferred uh, rear wheel drive and you can get a preferred long range, of course, all wheel drive with the ultimate package, right? Um, so definitely lots to choose from, right? Uh, which is, I love it. You know, there are five options to choose from different trim levels and different features. And I'll, I'll make another video on details on, you know, what are the trim levels uh, and the features, right? Thoroughly. Uh, every feature. This is just an overall of a, you know, a first drive. Uh, so the blind spot monitoring is going red right now because obviously someone is in my blind spot. All right, that was smooth. The steering wheel, you'll notice. So what I notice right now is the steering mode is, uh, the steering is a little bit stiff uh, and that probably because the vehicle is in the is in the sport mode so when you're in a sport mode um no you know what i might be lying i don't think i'm in the sport mode now i'm in the sport mode so what happened number one your range go lower um you get more power for sure uh because the battery is now giving you know the battery and the motor working together to give you more torque right um and basically the short range um uh, would have the you know the standard range it would have the 58 uh, kilowatt battery versus the 77 kilowatt battery the 77 kilowatt battery will give you 320 uh, horsepower compared to 250 on the 55 kilowatt battery so I'm on the sport mode right now um, and like I said I, I love the blind spot being on of course and the sensors in the back and it shows me here that, you know, someone is coming this way. So on the screen itself is showing me as well. Uh, and, I, you know, every time you see this lane change is green, that means the vehicle is adjusting itself. And it tells me keep my hands on the steering wheel. You know, I would always recommend everyone to have their hand on the steering wheel. I'm just testing the system and, you know, I wouldn't recommend you do that. Uh, but basically, as long as it's green, that means the sensors here are reading the lines, right? That's exactly what's going on right now. The sensors are reading the lines. And also with the high, uh, the, the highway driving assist, 
uh, what I've noticed as well, see, there are people literally who are uh, giving me thumbs up in the Hyundai Santa Fe. Uh, I think that Ionic 5 is I iconic. Uh, I think it's the styling is beautiful. And I think it's very, like, you know, everyone is looking at me here. There's another guy in this truck is looking at me. Uh, and I think this, I, this car is definitely an eye catcher. I would love to own one one day. I gotta talk to my dealership about that. Uh, yeah, so like I said, you know, back to the back to the driving smart driving assist, uh, the highway smart driving assist. It is also in the Ionic Five. It is not just that it, the, the radars are are looking at the both la lanes. Uh, it's also anticipating what the vehicle in front of you will does, uh, and that works with the adaptive cruise control and uh, uh, lane assist, right? Um, it even tells me that the maximum speed right now is 100 uh, and I'm going 98 kilometers right now but that's the reason why um, I'm on the sport mode all of that right I'm still on the sport mode uh, it, so I'm not, I'm not touching the, the uh, I'm not see and, and it's, it's pretty smart at you know detecting the, the, the lanes right so I think the Hyundai have definitely done a very good job um, you know with capturing you know being having an accurate sensors that look at the lanes so definitely there that i love that i see it here right i'm literally not not holding the steering wheel but you know like again i would emphasize hold the steering wheel um so you know if you look at the screen here um you see the range i have still 120 129 to go um if i shut off it tells me that if i shut off my uh my climate control, basically, uh, it will give me more range, right? I'm not touching the wheel. So if I go to winter mode, it is on winter mode right now, right? And that definitely eats a lot of the uh, of the range, but you know, because it's winter mode, so that makes sense. Literally, everyone is looking at me, guys, while driving this car. People are saying, what the heck is that? Uh, it's 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 you you definitely feel very special in that vehicle right every time like I said that green is on that means the car is uh, on uh, the lane change lane keep assist is engaged right um, so w one another thing I want to mention um, is the if you see here there's something called level 3 right on the left side okay and the level 3 that's basically for the pedals, your regenerative braking, right? Um, so basically, you know, on the right, on the right side, if I put my fingers on the right here, I probably need. I'm gonna start to go back to the dealership here. Uh, so I'm changing the lane here. So yeah, so regenerative braking. I, definitely, there is an improvement compared to the Kona EV, uh, where you know you have the plus regenerative. So uh, it has one, two, let me, level zero. So level zero, obviously, that means there is no regenerative braking assist engaged. Okay. Um, so on the left handle, it goes up a level. So that means that it's telling the vehicle to slow down. That's what the regenerative braking is doing here without me touching the brakes. Like I say, that's definitely gonna save you money on the cost of brake, replacing your pads and rotors. Uh, another big thing too um, is when you, you know, you go up to the level three, right? It slows the vehicle down. The eye pedal, which is after level three, right? Uh, when you push the left pedal to the uh, eye pedal, it literally almost breaks for you. Like it breaks for you. Like I, I don't need to touch the brake. You see how the speed is going down? So that's definitely something uh, Hyundai have improved absolutely on the regenerated braking. And I think it's very smart. And the big thing too that I've done some research on is that it, that it, it, what it does, it cleans the rotor for you, right? It cleans the rotor for you. As, as you all know, uh, rotors get, uh, uh, the rotors, uh, brake rotors uh, tend to get more rusty uh, or rusty uh, with an EV vehicle because they're not utilized, right? Uh, yeah, so, so far guys, you know, I, I, I love the way the drive, I love the stability, um, I love the space, uh, I feel like I'm on an airplane, 
uh, really like the space, the the feeling, uh, you know, sitting higher on the ground as well. Um, that, that that's what I'm, that's the vibe that I'm getting. So I'm definitely getting the good vibe here, right? So I am still on the sport mo uh, sport mode, right? So obviously this vehicle has the eco mode, and so it took me down to uh, 131. So I now I have more range, obviously. Uh, but basically it's gonna be a little more sluggish on the eco mode because basically it's not utilizing the full power. And then your normal mode. And then you're probably wondering, so what's here in, in on the screen here? What you see is your regenerative braking, right? No, I don't wanna say a command right now. Hmm? Uh, your regenerative braking, so every time so I'll put it back to I'll put it back to normal, okay? And then I'm gonna use the regenerative braking. And you can see that, you know, the power. So more power, this goes up like that. Uh, you take your foot off the gas, regenerative braking is engaged, and that what happened that you see it goes lower, and that means that it's slowing down, right? Um, so it's slowing down quite a bit when it's on the eye pedal. So I love that. It tells me four Celsius outside. Like I said, the, the drive feels phenomenal, like phenomenal. So again, that lane change, lane keep is uh, engaged. Like I said, road noise, insulation in that vehicle is second to none. Um, I'm really feeling that, you know, like what Hyundai have done, I think, is an art piece here, right? Um, obviously, down the road, we'll, we'll get more feedback from clients. Uh, but so far, first impression, I absolutely love it. Like I said, you know, I work with Hyundai, I sell Hyundai, I might have a little bias to Hyundai's, but honestly, you know, the only thing this can be compared to, competitors wise, uh, is the Tesla Model X. Uh, and like I, like I said, when I did the research, it all showed that interior room, the Hyundai have the, the largest volume wise, right? It's, it feels very solid, even when I took some bumps right now, it feels pretty solid. So I know that they've improved the suspension as well. Like not improve it, but what I'm saying that the suspension that's in the vehicle, um, I just have to check exactly on, on, on what's it called, but I just, I don't feel any bumps while I'm driving. And, and that's a peace of mind while driving. I'm the type of person that when I drive a vehicle, I do not want to feel any road noise. I do not want to feel any, I want the cabin to be silent. I don't want, in Nova Scotia where it's full of potholes, um, I definitely don't want to feel that bump uh, in me while I'm driving. And I, I feel that in the Ionic 5, it's giving me that comfort, uh, that relaxation feeling, and I love it. Like I said, everyone around me is looking, is like, what is this? Like, what is he driving here? You know what I mean? Uh, and like I said, ha hands down to what Hyundai have done, design, uh, styling, uh, efficiency, um, technology. And you know, what they've decided I noticed is that you have less buttons right now. There's a lot of stuff that you can do from the screen. Uh, the screen is, you know, it's intuitive. There's not a lot really that complicated. Uh, your salesperson, uh, your consultant uh, should go through the options here with you. Uh, I don't think you should, you'll have any issues getting used to the setup. They're pretty, pretty standard. So, uh, you know, I, I want to thank everyone for watching here. Um, one last thing I like to end with, I love those pixelated uh, squares. And this is how Honda is presenting, uh, you know, the Ionic 5 with the pixelated squares. That's a symbol. Again, I want to thank so much for everyone for watching. And uh, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, and please, any feedback uh, is, is appreciated. 
uh, and any comments i would love love to see uh comments uh and uh in, you know i will always want to improve i want to make sure that you know i'm doing good production videos uh with accurate information that you guys gonna enjoy have a wonderful wonderful day thank you